My daughter, Megan, and I arrived at Yellowstone's south entrance with plans for five days of fly fishing and filming. Surprised by the level of water at the confluence of the Lewis and Snake Rivers, unaware of the flooding conditions in the park, especially after spending the prior night in Jackson Hole and seeing Jackson Lake, which is fed by the Snake River. What we are looking at right now are the docks at Coulter Bay Village. It turns out Idaho can take 30 feet of water a year and they took it all at once. So this is the result of that. There is still more of the lake, but as you can see, this bay was very highly impacted by that. So we just got to our campsite. Yay! And then I just turned around and realized we have a bison. <laughs> It looks like he's just eating some grass. And I was worried I wasn't going to see bison. Well, that's where I'd go to the facilities. I'm definitely not going to be doing that alone in the night. I'm definitely going to ask Dad to go with me. What are we doing? <laughs> do we just do we just start setting up? I don't know. But if he starts making any like fast moves, uh, we're just sitting down. <laughs> so you'd have to be very careful going. So that's where we'll go for the bathroom. <laughs> Not right now. <laughs> Not right now. <laughs> um. When it stops chewing. That's when it's dangerous. Okay, looks like he's leaving with his butt tail way up. Oh, he's checking out the tent. Us? Oh, wait, no, I think he's pooping. <laughs> he can't see me. Oh, he's checking out their tent. Early the next morning on June 13th, the rain had finally subsided, so we headed up this little one way cliff road in the Firehole Canyon, which oversees the river. The amount of water pouring out of the canyon was crazy. Had we known about the damage occurring to the roads on the cliffs overlooking the Gartner and Lamar rivers in the northern section of the park, there's no way I would have driven up this road. Emerging from the Firehole Canyon, we, we continue to follow the river uh, on the Grand Loop Road. Uh, it was obvious that in some sections it wouldn't take much more for the river to begin to overflow the road. <laughs> and believe it or not, with this only the first of five days to fish this river, I was hopeful that the, the flooding uh, might go down. Uh, so Megan and I decided we would we'd drive around the Loop Road, spend the day sightseeing for animals and and checking out the attractions the park off the park uh, offers, uh, you know, uh, like uh, Old Faithful and uh, uh, you know the Yellowstone River, you know the Upper and Lower Falls, and maybe head up to Lamar Valley to see herds of bison, and you know who knows maybe even see some wolves, right? So, 
we um, the first thing we decided to do is we would hit some of the uh, you know these um, hot springs and and pools uh, that were you know on the Firehole River um, just a little uh, south from where we were now. Our first stop was to visit the blue and teal colored hot springs dominated by Grand Prismatic Spring. But my favorite is the crater remains of the Excelsior Geyser, once one of the largest geysers in the world prior to its explosion in 1985. The wind and steam wasn't offering a good view of Grand Prismatic Spring, but it was interesting to see how Yellowstone staff were picking up trash, which may have blown out of people's hands. Toes are frozen. Danger. This is so hot, your bones will melt. Oh, but my toes are cold. We're getting new socks today. We're on a mission. A sweatshirt that's dry and socks. But when did my hood go down? Turquoise pool. This is the Firehole River at the uh, Grand Prismatic Pool area. And as you can see, we got about a half inch or maybe a quarter, a quarter to a half inch, but the water was already really flooded and now it's absolutely crazy. There were some people casting lines further down from here yesterday, but I'm going to have to wait for the water to settle a little before I try Because <laughs> who knows where the fish are. Our next stop was Biscuit Basin. The river here didn't appear to be as fast moving, but clearly flooding, and appeared that no one was attempting to cross over the bridge. Can't, can't say I blame. Here's the Old Faithful Inn on a rainy June 13th. And there's Old Faithful. Let's just check the time. They'll have it right inside here.
we were able to get a hot breakfast at the inn, and with time to kill before the next eruption of Old Faithful, we walked around the geyser area on the boardwalk, again viewing the Firehole River and several hot and boiling springs. After a short wait, the skies began to clear, and right on time, Old Faithful erupted. I was hoping, with all the rain, the eruption might have been higher. Just the same, Old Faithful pleased the smaller than usual crowd of people watching with us. When we returned to the lodge, we learned why the crowds were smaller. Yellowstone was shutting down. What is that? Is that like a? Yes, I have. It's the same app here, just not oh. marked up. Can yeah. I get a marked up version of that? Oh, for sure. Here's a highlighter to mark it up. Thank you. You're welcome. It was a strange feeling, driving without cars in front of us, nor behind us, enjoying the serene beauty of Yellowstone Lake low-lying clouds above and snow-capped mountains in the distance. We continued into Hayden Valley, stopping occasionally to film in this rare and quiet beauty of the landscape. Closing now is what the sign says. Road closed. That's the road to Mammoth. That's the road to Mammoth? Mammoth. Mammoth. Okay. Oh boy. As we approached the Gibbon River in Elk Park, not only did it appear that the flooding was increasing in size for what is normally a small meandering stream, but we were beginning to see the first signs of traffic heading south. As we passed by Gibbon Meadows, we were stopped in traffic heading south into Gibbon Canyon. 
I became concerned with the condition of the two bridges ahead of us. But after 10 to 15 minutes, traffic began to flow. And we encountered a road crew monitoring a gouge in the pavement on the outside lane. So update, uh, wait, I already forgot what I was going to say. We're being evacuated. <laughs> we are being evacuated from Madison Campground, Madison Yellowstone. Campground, Yellowstone. All of Yellowstone is being evacuated. All of Yellowstone is being evacuated. Uh, one person told us they thought that the Old Faithful geyser is actually going to flood. Um, a lot of the roads, we were seeing that they were starting to get wiped out. Uh, even We even went over one road that it almost looked like as if the pavement was separating from itself. Um, they closed that road down just a few minutes after we had passed. Um, then when, when, when we were in Cannon, uh, all the stores were closed and they were kind of telling everyone, please get to wherever you need to be going and don't stay here. Um, and as soon as we got to Madison Campground, as we're pulling in, they're telling us that everyone's being evacuated. So, well, the road was out even up next to the Gibbon River on the oh way yeah, down. Oh yeah, next to the Gibbon River. Um, we did have some video of us going by that that you will see. Uh, and you could tell there's one guy who is standing right along the edge. And if you actually look down by his feet, there's nothing there. <laughs> he was monitoring. He was the, monitoring, he was monitoring the, it. The soil falling out from underneath the, the uh, pavement. Uh, then with all these other people, uh, everyone's leaving. But so we will keep you posted. Now we're gonna go try to find uh, some place to sleep tonight, especially when uh, we got some snow coming. So I guess we will not get to be out here. Uh, and here's something else we can show how high the water is out here. So that could be another reason why they're evacuating that's the this. Yeah, that's the Madison River of why they're evacuating this campground specifically. We're gonna, we're gonna see, we'll see the Madison a few more times as we drive out. Yeah. So this has uh, been an interesting experience. I was really looking forward to uh, tenting and camping when it was gonna snow. And I, I won't get that experience because I think we're definitely gonna get a hotel, you know, get a nice shower. Every single one of these campsites had were filled with people. Uh, this campsite was full when we arrived. Uh, we had reservations, so we didn't have that problem. But as you can see, everybody is going. No one is staying. So uh, goodbye Yellowstone. We did ask when they think the roads might be fixed and when we'll be back. And they said, I think Friday. Someone said Friday. Someone said Friday. But some of these roads, like out to Lamar Valley, and they said, are, are so badly uh, torn up. They may not be available for like three weeks. Okay, we're out of here. Goodbye, Madison. Yeah, those are the people, as you can see, they are about to stop this car and give them the bad news of, hey, sir, you need to pack up all your stuff. You're leaving. <laughs> yep, see, stopping everybody. Yeah.
Yeah, I think they're having concerns that even this road, which was the last remaining road open, it was the evacuation route, I think some of their concerns would be that this road too could become compromised, which is most likely why they are evacuating the entire park of Yellowstone. Dead bison. They just wanted to say goodbye. Or up here too. And sometimes you'll see elk on this road too. That was kind of, that's nice. Oh, this one has babies. Oh, look at them all. Well, that was a nice treat to end our trip in Yellowstone on. <laughs> Normally it looks like a river. Oh boy, I'm wondering, you know, all the the rare birds and stuff that that nest along the side of the river and stuff, you know. Oh god, we're coming up to a blockade. See, I don't think their concern is that the water is going to come over the road. It's more or less the water is so high that it's taking all the sand and sediment underneath the bridges and uh, and roads in general. Oh, oh, we've got bison that have decided to now camp out. is a good time. I know you guys are trying to leave, but uh, you don't you don't need you don't want to, do you? <laughs> So we are currently evacuating Yellowstone and um, we're trying to leave, but we kind of can't. These guys have decided to just hang out on the road and not let us out. Little babies even just sitting down on the grass, just chilling. You can see there's a lot of people that want us to move. or something <laughs> well hello West Yellowstone yeah here we go tourist land tourist land yay it's probably where they 
everyone that's been evacuated has probably been going. Um, Yellowstone Park Village. Yeah, we decided not to try to get uh, lodging here because so many people are being evacuated from the park. This is going to be like everyone's first stop. <laughs> so we are continuing on into Idaho. All three bear lodge looks cute. Yeah, I, don't, I know, it is cute. There's, there's a lot of well, cute things here. Cute. We only got one night at this other place, so we, we can uh, try to change things up. <laughs> um, yeah, okay. Bye-bye.